Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about input as expression property of run subflow action in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In the latest version of Power Automate Desktop, which is 2.47, Microsoft has introduced input as expression property in run subflow action. Here you can see that if you have any subflow created in your desktop flow, then you will see a list of the desktop flow. But if you enable this input as expression, you will be able to pass a variable here. I will create a very small use case to understand this feature. First of all, I will create a subflow. I will name it as addition. I will create one more subflow, which will be named as subtraction. Okay. Now what I will do is I will create a input dialog. I will enter the title as please provide input. The message I will enter please enter first number. I will keep it a single line. Keep input dialog always on top. I will name the variable as number one. And then from here, I will choose again display input dialog. I will enter the title as please provide input. Please enter second number. Keep it always on the top. Name the variable as number two. Okay. Now I will use display select from list dialog. Here I will give the title as operation. In the message I will specify please select an operation. The first one is going to be addition. Second one is going to be subtraction. Right? I will give the variable as selected action. Okay. And now I will go to flow control and from here I will choose run subflow. And from here I will use input as expression property. And then I will choose the variable as selected action. I will click on save. Now I will go to addition. And here I will take the message box, which is display message. And here I will choose number one. Then I will put the plus sign and then I will choose number two. I will remove the percentage sign and then I will enable this option, which is to keep the message box always on the top and click on save. And I will copy this action, go to subtraction, paste here and here I will use minus i will click on save now here you can see that it is saying operator minus cannot be applied to text value now we have to convert these variables which is number one and number two to number i will go to text category from here i will choose convert text to number i will choose number one i will copy it paste it, click on save. I will remove the percentage sign. I will again use convert text to number. I will choose number 2. And here again, I will choose number 2. Click on save. Right? You can see the error is gone. Now I will run the bot. I will enter 25 and then again I will enter 25 I will choose the option is addition click on ok and you can see the result is 50 now again I will run the bot I will enter 25 this time I will enter 5 click on ok and I will choose the operation as subtraction I will click on ok you can see the result is 20 right so this is how you can use the input as expression property of 
runs of below action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day